Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Bucket Coding and today we are going to make a simple uh, way to make custom events and what custom events are is basically whenever we have anything up here with at event handler then say uh, for instance player join event that is an event I uh, will be making our own events today and I will not be showing you how to make them cancelable uh, because that would take up a little too much time but yeah, it's, it's some pretty basic stuff. You just have to know exactly what you're doing. So now what we are going to do is go ahead and make our events class. Oh, but before I do that, uh, I made this teleport command um, thingy here. Uh, so yeah, if you, you can go ahead and copy this. It's not too important until we call the event. Um, but it's, it's just a basic way of triggering the um, the event. All You can do a command like slash test um, to, just to test the custom event. But I, I set it up like this just so it'll have... Um, some stuff we can do with it so it'll kind of make sense in, in my head it does at least so now you want to make a new class you're gonna call this um, player teleport event I hope this isn't actually already a thing that would kind of suck uh, I make this implement uh, actually no I think it has to extend uh, extends event and oh, extends event that's going to be from bucket and it is not going to implement um, cancelable because, uh, like I said, that would take too much time. Uh, so we need some methods first. We need our our, our handler list methods, which um, it's a little too complicated to explain um, at this point in time. And I don't think I will actually end up um, uh, explaining this in a tutorial video because it is very complicated and I don't fully understand it. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is make this um, private static final handler list handlers equals new handler list. And basically, if you don't have the code that I'm writing right here, um, your your thing will not work. <laughs> uh, actually, no, it's public handler list get uh, get handlers. Yeah, get handlers. Um, and you can actually do some stuff with this if you're um, playing the debugging game, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, it's kind of purposeless, in my opinion. It just makes it a lot more difficult to do uh, events and stuff. So let's go ahead and finish this off here. Return handlers. There we go. So now, uh, if we were to make our, our thing here. So that's all that code out of the way. We're going to make a private player object. So private player player. We're going to say uh, we're going to have a public uh, player teleport event uh, constructor here, and that's going to call for a player player, and we're going to say player target. So there's going to be a target player, uh, and let's actually make a private player target. Uh, and what I actually want to do is what you could do for say I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, of course. Uh, but you could have something along the lines of um, string target or location location. Uh, and actually, I'm going to change this to location um, private location. Come on. Location. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to change this over there. And we're going to say, oh, rip. <laughs> uh, this dot player equals player. And this dot target equals. Oh, no, not this two string. This dot target equals target. So whenever we call this, it will need a location to go to, which the teleport command has a location. Yay. Um, so now what we can go down and do is I think that's all we have to do. Um, yeah, that seems like it's about it. Um, let me just go ahead and confirm with my little thing off the side here. Yep, we're not doing anything with um, cancellation, so we're good. All right, so that's that's our player teleport event class. I don't think you have to register it anywhere. Um, so yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and go into teleport command here. And inside, right here, call event. Uh, I have a note here. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete that. So we're going to say uh, bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot um, call event. Uh, event and we're going to make our event here we're going to say player teleport event um, event equals uh, new uh, player teleport event and it's going to have the p and target dot get 
location. Uh, because target target location is where we're teleporting to. And that's that. So now we can go back to our main class. We shouldn't need any of the other ones anymore. And now we can say on teleport, we can actually fill this in with player teleport event E. And now you can see E dot. We have get handlers, of course. We don't have anything here because we did not add um, our get player methods and yet. So we can say public player uh, get get to. Uh, let's see now. Uh, get player public player get player return player easy and then public location get um, target um, return target now you can see if we type in e we have those methods we have get player and get target so we're gonna do some stuff from the particle effects tutorial we can do something from episode 4 um, yeah we can do something from episode 4 with our um, with our packet stuff such as sending titles, but we're just going to keep it very basic. We're going to say player p equals e dot get player. Go ahead and import import player here, and we are just going to say p dot send message uh, chat color chat color dot uh, gold sure uh, teleported to plus e e dot get location. No, hold on, get target is what we said, and dot to string. Uh, and this will this will actually return something very funky. Uh, That's so what we want to do. Is we want to just say e dot get target um, dot. Let's just say get um, get x uh, comma that plus e dot get target dot get y plus comma. Uh, space boom plus e dot get target dot get z and now boom so it'll send all that in gold whenever whenever someone teleports and you can say if it was canceled well, we could say e dot set cancel true uh, but we don't need to do that um, because you know that's kind of purposeless to to cancel a teleport event at this point in my opinion but you could cancel it based on some stuff and I may do that in the future as a separate tutorial. Um, so yeah, that looks like it was about it for this this tutorial. It's a pretty short one. Now we just have to go make sure it works and test it. So I will be right back. All right, everyone. So we have loaded up our game and let's go ahead and join the A Minecraft server. <laughs> um, and now that that happens, we can type in our slash tp command. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's go ahead and there we go. Slash tp because I did. Um, do some uh, command aliases so TP and then let's go ahead and just throw it a test here test play, players and online I made my code too good there we go so you can see it says teleported to the yada 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 so if we move around yep still says it and now we can go over here boom I know I'm lagging but you know that sucks and we, if we were to get another account online which I'm not gonna do because I don't want to kill my computer um, we can actually teleport to them and it would say teleported to that location of course it is returning those double values i think you could get rid of that by casting all that to integers um the same way you cast um uh command sender to player uh or pl player to command sender i think uh I, I forgot those aren't trampolines anymore we, rem we remove that feature um but yeah so that is our that's our tutorial um if you want further proof that this works you can type a simple System.out.print uh, working or something like that, but it does work as you can see that message gets sent here in gold and it does not get sent anywhere else here. Um, so, yeah, that was it for our uh, for a simple tutorial on uh, custom events, which we will be using hopefully in the next one, uh, next tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all again in the next video. Goodbye.